Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you about cocaine. So basically what is cocaine? Cocaine is a colorless, odorless, crystalline substance with bitter taste. It is an alkaloid de delirant and dried leaves of Erythroxylum coca. So this is basically procured from the dried leaves of Erythroxylum coca. And it is also name or you can say the different names have been given to cocaine in different countries. For example, snow, speedball, coke, crack. So these are the different names that are associated with cocaine. What is the mechanism of action of cocaine? So cocaine poses a hyperadrenergic state and that will lead to the increased synaptic concentration of the monoamine neurotransmitter mainly dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin and by binding to transporter proteins in presynaptic neurons and blocking uptake. So basically they all will bind to the transporter protein in the presynaptic neurons and they will block the uptake. Also this will stimulate the cortex for a short time followed by depression. And the main route of administration of cocaine, this is mainly most commonly used is chewing, snorting, smoking, IV, that is least used. So most commonly used are chew chewing and snorting. So what are the signs and symptoms in case of uh, cocaine poisoning? Someone have abused cocaine in a higher amount. So what are the symptoms that will appear within the body? So the symptoms appear within 7 seconds after inhalation. So this, these are basically root of administration. So if the patient or the person will inhale then 7 seconds after 7 seconds he will start experiencing the symptoms. From IV root after 15 seconds. From nasal insufflation after 3 minutes. From oral ingestion after 10 minutes. So these are basically the symptoms at time frame that usually appears with the root of administration. The patient will feel numbness or tingling at the place of application. So at which place if it if he has inhaled IV root, nasal insufflation or oral ingestion, he will feel numbness or tingling at that place of application. There will be dryness of mouth, vomiting followed by diarrhea and the bowels will be hyperactive in these patients. Patient will feel euphoria, restlessness and excitement. Also he will other symptoms like tachypnea, tachycardia and hyperthermia. Patient can also have twitching and seizures that reflexes are exuberated. Also the patient will be uh, having dilated pupils, ventricular arrhythmias and rapid irregular pulse are also seen in such patient. And it will be followed by apnea and flaccid paralysis. In fatal cases, convulsion and death occurring within 2-3 to three minutes. So as you can see, it is a very very toxic or very very highly toxic abuse substance that the death is occurring within 2-3 to three minutes. So even after consuming in a large amount the patient will not be able to reach the hospital. So the overdose will lead to the death in just 2-3 to three minutes. So these are basically the main signs and symptoms that are related to the cocaine poisoning. Now we will see the treatment. If the patient comes to you in your emergency or while you are posting at the department in any hospital, then the main treatment include if the patient have injected the any form of cocaine, then apply tourniquet about that part. First of all, second, if snorted, wash out with warm water and saline. If swallowed, the gastric lavage is to be done with KMLO4 or activated charcoal. To control the seizure, so basically our ma major approach is here, treat each symptom at one step at a time. To control the seizures, we usually use diazepam up to 0.5 mg per kg IV. For ventricular arrhythmias, we usually use 0.5 to 1 mg propanolol IV. Thymine 100 mg IV is also given. Short acting beta blockers for tachycardia and hypertension in these patients and artificial respiration and oxygen if it is needed in such patient. So this is the basic you can say overall it is a symptomatic kind of approach in case of cocaine abuse. So there is a another phenomena that is related to the cocaine overdose. It is known as Magnan syndrome also known as cocaine bugs. So this kind of syndrome is usually seen in cocaine addicts. Those person who are addicted to cocaine and they consume it on a regular basis. So it, they usually feel this tactile hallucination 
सेंसेशंस लाइक टाइनी इंसेक्ट्स आर क्राउलिंग अंडर द स्किन सो फीलिंग एज इफ ग्रेन ऑफ सैंड आर लाइंग अंडर द स्किन सो दिस इज बेसिकली ऑल अबाउट मैग्नल सिंड्रोम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द कोकेन एडिक्ट वो आर यू एब्यूजिंग इट फॉर ए लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे यूजली फील टेक्टाइल हेलोसिनेशन and they feel like that something is crawling in the inside the skin like tiny insects are crawling so they will have this kind of tactile hallucination so this is all about cocaine and i hope you have liked this video it is a, just a short summary about cocaine poisoning like what to do and what are the symptoms that you can experience in such patient so i hope you have liked this video thank you so much make sure to subscribe and like this video